being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. draws ever near. From this day onward, you are Outlander no more. I could finally return to my investigation on my mother's disappearance. Hi laddie, just because you got the firm nickname doesn't mean you're not an Outlander still. Poor Mrs. Radson's husband went missing, and so has Jossick, keeper of the lighthouse. Chapter 8. The Battle for Nate is Not. Everyone knows about the Battle of Nate is Not. However, most of the popular accounts are just rumors. The story I'm about to tell you is different. Different because I was there. With the trials completed, I had finally gained access to Relica. And while I explored the town, I came across several interesting discoveries. First off, there are a couple chests that contain nature runes and steel arrow tips. There's also a furnace, a pottery oven, and a spinning wheel. The marketplace contains a few stalls which I can steal from if I'm careful. Then there's a sand pit and a mine. And lastly, these two islands. A couple stacks of nature runes spawn on one of the islands. And sticking out of the dirt on the other island, a shiny blue sapphire. So long as I had a few extra law runes on hand, I could now take as many of these items as I pleased. Before I did anything, however, I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a few agility levels first. Okay, here's your 200 coins. Let's get started. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my least favorite thing to do right now. Without 40 agility, we cannot pass over several obstacles, making it incredibly difficult to keep our streak going. This wasn't so bad in the beginning because the levels were coming in quick, and so the failing is kind of expected. But even at like 38, 39, 40 agility, you still fail a lot, <laughs> and it can get pretty frustrating. Come on, please, for the love of God, one more and we can go turn- Did that seriously just happen? At the level that I'm at, it's actually better to say- <sighs> As I was saying, it's actually better to turn in your tickets when you get around 10 or so, because we just want the lower levels to go by as quick as possible. <laughs> Why, God? <laughs> Why? Guess what? We didn't make it again. This is like the fourth time in a row. Yeah, pretty frustrating. Should be able to get this one though. Welcome to the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that deserves a slow motion replay. We're already like a few minutes into the video and I haven't even gotten 10 tickets. This is great. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Hey, now we can actually show some progress. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Time to cash in. 10 tickets, please. Bam. 39 agility. Oh, yes. 40 agility. Sweet. Can we make the next one? Uh, yes. Nice. Okay, first things first. Yeah. Wait a second, there's agility options in Runelite? Okay, I mean that's not very helpful. Is there a timer for Brimhaven? That is the question. Oh, that is so helpful. At least now I know if I'm not gonna make it. Uh, should we savor this? Nah. Ah. That feels good. I don't know why the heck I'm not using this shop for fish, it's really not that expensive, and it beats running all the way over to the other side of the island just to buy some wines. Back in the dungeon. 44 agility! Sweet! And we got 26 tickets to cash in. This right here is why we're doing it, boys. 45 agility. 
Okay, after this level, I think we're gonna go cash in all our tickets and probably, probably take a break. I think 46 is good enough. Even though we're having so much fun, I think I'm done here. <laughs> all right, here's the big XP drop. 7.1K, not too shabby. And 46 agility, there we go. Since my house is in Relica, I really want to teleport to a port. So we're gonna buy this ectophile back. And while we're here, may as well do a load of compost. Seven farming. See, who needs ranking content when you got compost? Now that I felt more agile, it was time to go look for Ingrid's husband. And luckily, I found him near the coast outside Relica. You see that heap of driftwood over there? That is my ship, and all that is left of my one shot at making my ancestors proud. If you help me, this treasure map is all yours. Of course I accepted it. What kind of pirate would refuse a treasure map? But first I would need to get some wood from a tree on top of this nearby cliff. The only problem was, I wasn't skilled enough to cut it down. The first thing I'd need is a better axe. Unfortunately, the only way I could get a rune axe was from one of these powerful monsters or from a hard clue scroll casket, both of which were kind of difficult at the time. Now the adamant axe was pretty much the same deal, so looks like we'd have to settle for the mithril axe. But for this, I kind of had to do some digging. As you can see, these are all the monsters that drop mithril axes, and I can't really get to them. At least, that was the case according to Griswold's International Almanac of Items 13th edition. But while I was taking a break, I happened to be reading The Dragon's Dance by Sir Henry Wallingford. Quite an interesting knight and scholar, I'll admit, which contains the most in-depth descriptions of dragons to this day. In the book, a single entry talks about the rare and mythological red dragon, which Sir Wallingford himself had only seen in one place, the Brimhaven Dungeon. According to his entry, red dragons can indeed drop Mithraxes, so that's where we're headed. The first thing I needed to do was make another amulet of magic, and luckily we could get a gold bar underneath the Corsair Cove. Next up, we had to get another ball of wool, and then we got that sapphire I mentioned earlier from Relica. And voila, there's our amulet of magic. Next up, we just made a trip to Betty's shop in Port Serum for some runes, and stopped by the good old shrimp and parrot for some food. Finally, it was time to venture into the caves again. Just gotta cross this log, and then we will be in the Red Dragon's domain. Over the entire decade that I've played RuneScape, I don't think I've ever gone down here to kill Red Dragons. That's just the beauty of a restricted account. Alright, first one... More well, coins. Hey, I'll take the bones though. We're actually gonna be training pair with that, so... That's pretty cool. Hey, a Mithril 2H. At least we can out that. I don't think anyone really goes down here to kill these, so for all I know, Wallingford's account could even be wrong. Guess we'll find out, eh? Kinda hurts, but we're gonna drop these hides because we don't have any access to a tanner to use them. And we can't even use the lunar spell because that requires Dream Mentor, which is a quest we cannot do because of the requirements. Hey, 61 magic. We are just about out of runes, so I think I'm gonna go... Uh, Alright, first things first, just put all the bones in the pots. Dundilio. Alrighty, there's our runes. Let's head back to Red Dragons. You know what, that other safe spot was pretty terrible. I wonder if this is gonna work right here. Hey, hey, looks like he's trapped, awesome. Much safer than before, I probably don't even need all this food. Hey, that's a free 20k. Yes! Yes, we got it! These actually drop mithril axes, man. Who knew? Who knew? This would be pretty important for regular Iron Man too because um, I think you need it for that one um, the chicken quest. A drain our manor. Yeah. I didn't want to waste a trip down here, so we got ourselves a full load of bones, and hopefully this gives us another prayer level. This right here, boys, is the pain of being an ultimate Iron Man. I can only take one bucket 
of slime for at least the first few trips. So, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, 40 prayer, nice. We uh, can now use protect from range. That'll be incredibly useful. All right, we have finished off the bones here and finally, we can actually get to some wood cutting. Okay, we are back in Cadlerby just collecting our compost. I'll explain in a bit why we're here, but for now, eight farming. All right, so obviously we already have 30 wood cutting for willows, so technically that'd be better XP, but my fire making is still not high enough to burn them. And since I'll be chopping a lot of willows, I may as well make use of the logs that I get. So we're gonna do some oaks until we get to 30 fire making. Hey, there's 41 wood cutting. Rune axe, that's nice. Uh, if we could ever get one. Hopefully in the future. What have I got? Guys, 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 check it out. Check it out. We got a clue. We got a clue scroll. Yes, and this is a hard clue. I'm not even sure. I probably can't even do this, but uh, okay, what do we got here? Oh, it's on Entrana. Well, we can do that. We'll just have to drop all our armor and weapons on the docks. So we'll go do this after we get 30 fire making. See you later, oak trees. We're done. I am so happy to be moving on from this place. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna drop all these items and hopefully we get back in time. Should be doable. It's not that far away, but you never know. The internet could go out. Easy, there's our stuff. That, w that didn't even take longer than like a minute. So we're in the clear. Just pick up our stuff and check the clue. Uh, sawmill, cool. All right, let's see, just one more step that we can do, please. Fairy resistance. Uh, there's no way we can do that. We gotta do a couple quests for that. Oh well, guess we're dropping it. Alright, so I'm reviewing this clip and I'm not really sure why I'm in Catherby again, but 10 farming. I think we're going to have to chill here for all the levels, really. Um, I can't really think of a better spot. Let the grind commence. Alright mateys, it happened again. This time it's a medium, which means we can most likely do it. Let's go see where this is. Hmm, I wonder if Settled is home today. Alright, next step, we can get the chaps from the Champions Guild, the Ring of Dueling we can make, and the Mithril Med Helm we can buy from Barbarian Village. Alright, we're all done. Yes, you can have my tea bag. Okay, this should be the third step just in this cave here. Alright, is this it? Yes! There's the casket, hell yeah. Alright. Let's open this sucker. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We just got an adamant X from a clue scroll. If this is not a sign of the gods, then I'm speechless, man. Don't know what else to say. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? Yeah, me neither. Miracles are a curious thing. Even though I had died to a fire giant and was born anew, I still found it hard to believe in some higher power. But after finding an adamant ax in that chest, the way I viewed the world began to change. Something, or someone, was watching over me. All right, I'm just gonna sell this stuff really quickly and get back to wood cutting with my new Adam Axe. There it is, 50 wood cutting. I think this is technically all we need for Olaf's quest, but while I'm here, I think I may as well just get a few more levels. You'll see. It's 49 fire making. I think I'm gonna stop there. I can't really think of a reason why I'd want it higher than 49, so probably just fletch the logs for now. I didn't really mention this earlier, but I chose this spot specifically just because it also has this farming patch that I've just been passively raking. Okay, I lied. Here's 50 fire making. 
Now we'll stop. And this is the last arrow shafts we will have to make. 35 fletching. I'm not sure if there's a good place to sell these or if it's worth selling, but for now I'm just gonna drop them. Hey, 40 fletching. I think we can upgrade to the longbows now. As you can see, the shop price for these is pretty decent. It starts at 64. It goes down pretty fast, but I thought I may as well just make a little bit of cash while I'm doing this. You guys might hate me for this, but we don't really have a use for this maple seed. We're pretty far off on the farming level, so goodbye. Hey, there's 54 woodcutting. We are closing in on our goal. Hey, there's 55. One more. 44 fletching. The moment we've been waiting for. 56 wood cutting. Dude, it has been a crazy journey so far, but we are done. It is time to go help Olaf. Sacred light. The keeper at the lighthouse has gone missing. Please. Go find Gunyorn, he has a spare key. Excuse me, uh, I'm looking for... Barbarians only. Uh, okay, um, I'm a... Are you a barbarian? You don't look like one. Looks can be deceiving, my friend. I am in fact a barbarian. Prove it. What is this, a drinking game? That doesn't sound very challenging. Only a real barbarian can complete the grim hand bar crawl. Until then... You're not getting in. Trust me when I say this, laddies. Never challenge a pirate to a bar crawl. It won't be pretty. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Now it was finally time to venture into the lighthouse. The first thing I noticed was that it was broken, and somehow I'd need to fix it. For this, I'd need some swamp tar, and unfortunately, it can only be obtained in a few places in all of Gilinor. Luckily, I knew just the guy for this. So I repaired the lighthouse, but Jossick was still nowhere to be seen. I found a trap door at the bottom of the lighthouse, and with no other leads, I decided to venture into the deep.
Underneath the lighthouse, I came to an ancient door, and there, in the center, was the face of a monstrous beast. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Each symbol began to glow as I placed the corresponding item next to it, and then... The massive stone door slowly swung open. Jossick, is that you? Hello? Please, please help me. I think my leg is broken. It's okay, Jossick. I'll, I'll get you out of here. You're fine now. No, you don't understand. They're coming. They're coming back. What's coming back? Here it comes. <laughs> Okay, let's get you out of here. No, you don't understand. That was its baby. Depths with you. By the skin of my teeth, I survived the horror from the deep. Of course, this is a pirate story. And what pirate story wouldn't be without its treasure? Farther down in the cave was a damp and forgotten chest. What do you think it says, Ingus? It says... Ceridomen. I said farewell to Larissa and the lighthouse keeper before setting off to Relica once again. I arrived there shortly before sunset. It was too late to continue my investigation on my mother's disappearance, and to be honest, I was beyond weary from everything that happened recently. I checked into the inn, and collapsed into my bed. That night, I dreamt of a gigantic ship wandering aimlessly through the sea. I had no idea where I was going, but I was content without a care in the world. Standing next to me was an older man with crimson hair, just like mine, a wicked scar running down his face from his hairline to his chin. Despite his disturbing appearance, there was something comforting about him, like an old friend you hadn't seen in years. His eyes were solemn, filled with dark memories, but he was smiling, and so was I. We didn't notice when the clouds rolled in, or when the sky darkened, or when the waves crashed against the ship and flooded the deck. We stood there, motionless, smiling, while the ocean swallowed our ship and we were buried at sea. Message. Message for Taldar. Huh? Taldar, the king of Yedizo invites you to his kingdom and requests your counsel with all due haste. Word of my feats had traveled much faster than I thought. You know how it is. Once your reputation begins to grow, you get asked to do all sorts of things by very important people. Are the Outerlander who has been given a from nickname? Yeah. Excellent. I have heard that some call you Bard in Relica. Ooh, ooh. I've actually been working on a couple songs. Would you like to hear- Silence! 
I do not wish to hear your wailing. All bards are charlatans and fools. However, a fool is exactly what I need right now. Under the guise of a fool, my mission was to infiltrate the island of Nadeznot. Although pickpocketing and plundering is more my forte, acting isn't new to me. And besides, anyone can play a fool. To my surprise, Nadeznot wasn't planning an invasion on their neighbors at all. I tried to convince the King of Jadezo that Nadeznot was preparing to fight off an ice troll invasion, and not their neighbors. But you know how royalty is, unless they see it with their own eyes. They won't believe a damn thing. Unfortunately, something darker, more sinister, was underway. Ice Troll Army almost done! Excellent work. Assuming you are victorious, the island shall be yours. If the Fremnix won't join us, I'll destroy them. What does this fall? Busted. I can't see a damn thing out here. What in God's name? The only way to put an end to this mess is if we take out the Ice Troll King. I must stay and guard the city. Who will lead the attack? I will. Are you sure, Taldar? You don't have to fight for us. I may be a pirate, but I'm also a Fremnik now. I will fight for you. Alright men, let's send these trolls back to the caves where they belong. <laughs> Are you ready, men? Let's do this.
For you, Manus, the head of the Ice Troll King. Taldar, you have brought great honor to our island. The truth is, even though I had saved Nadesnot, I was still no closer to finding my mother. Ah, this isn't the Dao we use. See? <sighs> After all this, another dead end. Hmm, there's something magical about it though. The way it shimmers in the light. I'm not 100% certain, but I wouldn't be surprised if this came from Lunar Isle. How do I get there? I might know someone who can take you. Tell you what, head to the docks around midnight. Teldar? Y y yes, that's me. Nice to meet you. I'm Lokar, Lokar Sea Runner. I might be able to give you a hand. So the Ice Troll King has failed, and defeated by a boy. This does complicate things. <laughs> no matter. Everything is set in motion now. Your Grace, we found the book. It's about time. <laughs>